welcome to Christ for Life. The title of the message today is An Angel Spoke. We're going to be in 1 Kings chapter 13. But first I wanted to share some thoughts and then I want to read the scripture. The thoughts are these. The man of God was sent on a mission to confront the idolatrous King Jeroboam of Israel. He knew the instructions from the Lord. God was very clear what he was to do. Yet he allowed himself to be deceived by an old prophet. So let's take a look, and then I'm going to unpack that a little bit. But we're going to be 1 Kings 13, starting in verse 7. Then the king, this is after the man of God confronted King Jeroboam. Then the king declared to the man of God, Come home with me, refresh yourself, and I'll give you a reward. But the man of God replied, If you were to give me half your house, I still wouldn't go with you, and I wouldn't eat food or drink water in this place. For this is what I was commanded by the word of the Lord. See, God told him very clearly what he was to do. You must not eat food or drink water or go back the way you came. So he went another way. He did not go back by the way he had come to Bethel. And so he knew the instruction. And he fulfilled a part of it. He did go confront Jeroboam, which was a risky thing, a courageous thing. But he had the word of the Lord with him, and he went and he confronted Jeroboam for the idolatry that Jeroboam introduced to Israel. But then take a look at verses 15 uh, through 24. God's word says this. This is after the old prophet uh, tracked down the man of God. Then he said to him, this is the prophet speaking to the man of God, Come home with me and eat some food. But he answered, I cannot go back with you or accompany you. I will not eat food or drink water with you in this place. For a message came to me by the word of the Lord. You must not eat food or drink water. There go back by the way you came. So the instructions from the Lord were very clear to the man of God. He said to him, I am also a prophet, so this is the old prophet, about to lie to the man of God. He said to him, I am also a prophet like you. An angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord. Bring him back with you to your house so that he may eat food and drink water. The old prophet deceived him, and the man of God went back with him, ate food in his house and drank water. While they were sitting at the table, the word of the Lord came to the prophet who had brought him back. Watch how quickly things turn, and the old prophet turns on the man of God. Verse 21, And the prophet cried out to the man of God who had come from Judah. This is what the Lord says, Because you rebelled against the Lord's command and did not keep the command that the Lord your God commanded you, but you went back and ate food and drank water in the place that he said to you, do not eat food and do not drink water. Your corpse will never reach the grave of your fathers. So after he had eaten food and after he had drunk, the old prophet saddled the donkey for the prophet he had brought back. When he left, a lion attacked him along the way and killed him. His corpse was thrown on the road. And the donkey was standing beside it. The lion was standing beside the corpse too. So the, the man of God died. The man of God that was sent by God from Judah died. He disobeyed. Now, he partially obeyed. He did confront Jeroboam. But partial disobedience is disobedience. We can't say, but I partially obeyed. Friend, I want to share with you a couple of things. Don't be deceived by the lies of the world. The sin that is crouching at your door likely does not look like a fierce monster. In this case... The uh, rebellion that was crouching at the man of God's door was not a fierce monster. It was an invitation to have food and drink. No, that sin crouching at your door is not a fierce monster. Probably doesn't look like that. It likely looks innocent, perhaps playful. It's enticing. Don't fall for the lies of the world. You know what the Lord has put on your heart. Pursue it steadfastly without delay. Pursue God's word. Pursue the plans he has for your life without delay. And if someone should come to you and say, the Lord told me to tell you. Friend, if the Lord hasn't told you, be very careful. 
just like the old prophet deceived the man of God and said, an angel spoke. Don't be derailed by the lies of the world, the deception of the world. What God puts on your heart, pursue wholeheartedly. You'll be glad you did. God bless you all. We'll see you soon.